This is the Durham Girl Primary School AMU News for Term 3, Week 8, 2021. And we're back in lockdown again. Durham Girl Primary School operates on Yorta Yorta country. We acknowledge the Yorta Yorta people as the traditional custodians of the Durham Girl region and pay our respects to all Indigenous elders, past and present. We are committed to a positive future for the Aboriginal community. Seems to be every time I go to do the EMU news, the COVID information changes yet again. All right, so currently what's happened is it's been announced that students aren't coming back to school on Thursday, the 2nd of September, and schools will remain in remote teaching until at least the end of term three. As to what's happening for term four yet, we don't know that's still to be announced. Under the current restrictions, we're not allowed to have any visitors to our school. So apart from staff, students that need to be on site because they fit one of the criteria to be here, and maybe some essential work, no one's allowed on site. Anyone who does get permission to come on site here at the school must QR code as soon as they walk in our gate and they must be wearing a mask. Just a reminder that face masks are required across Victoria, both indoors if you're in a public space and outdoors again in a public space. It's not mandatory, but it is recommended that all people over the age of five, so that's now primary school age students, wear a mask. Exactly how this is going to work when students do get back to school, we're not sure yet. But students will be strongly encouraged to wear masks here at Durangal. Durangal Primary School participates in the Brekkie and Lunch Club programs. At present, because we have no students on site, we have the Brekkie Club for food sitting here that needs distributing. So if the school families would like to contact me with any food that they require, and then after that, the community can also put in a request for food. This is what we have available. Food is available to be delivered to you. So if you need something, please either email me at school, darangal.ps at education.vic.gov.au or send me a text or a phone call to 0418 383064. If there's anyone in the community who's still trying to collect these Aussie Hero stickers, we have a pile of them here at the school, all unopened. I'll put them out in the street library and you can come and collect some. Student activities. Made some very short books to show words that are synonyms of little. Current curriculum topics.
excursions and incursions. Friday the 17th of September is the end of term. Our community projects. What is the significance of this tree and the plaque that's with it? It commemorates the school's centenary. It commemorates the returned soldiers from the district. It commemorates the school's 150th year. It commemorates the principal who'd been at the school the longest. Keep watching for the answer for our Darangal quiz. The Darangal Plan Library has the following plants available for you to select. There are a range of disposable and adult sized reusable cloth face masks available in the Durangal Street Library. Other school information. At school we have a range of games that families can borrow. The following photos show some of the ones that we have. Again, if you'd like to borrow these, email me or text me and I'll make sure that they get put in your pack when we deliver works out to homes. Enrolments for 2022 and beyond are currently being taken for foundation or prep students as well as students who wish to enrol at other year levels. If you know of or have a student who might be interested in coming to Darangal please contact us to arrange a personal tour and a chat about what our school can offer you. Community connections to our website and our EMU news in the last fortnight. For 2021, our student attendance is running at... Our contact details. Darangal Primary School, designated school zone. You can find out where your school zone is at www.findmyschool.vic.gov.au and putting in your address. The tree was planted in 2017 to commemorate the school's centenary.